Now to a story that has the scientific world buzzing. The U.S. laboratory has reached a massive milestone in nuclear fusion a few months ago, and now they've done it again. Experts say this could help pave the way to a future with near limitless clean energy. CBC's Magda Gebrselassi joins me now from Washington. Magda, what can you tell us about this achievement? Well, this is all about trying to replicate the process that powers the sun and to do it in a way that gets more energy out than it uses. So you have scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California that say that they've now done it twice. They have produced a nuclear fusion reaction with net energy gain. The process involves fusing two atomic nuclei into one heavier one, which releases energy. And this group first announced last December that they did it, and they got more energy out than what was used. But a spokesperson now says an experiment on July 30th produced an even higher output of energy. Now, the results are still being analyzed. They're supposed to be made available to peer-reviewed publications and scientific conferences. But what does this all mean for the future? Could this help tackle climate change anytime soon? We know that last December, when the scientists announced the initial breakthrough, the energy produced was believed to be enough to run a kettle a few times. And at that time, the U.S. Department of Energy said it was a major scientific breakthrough and that it would pave the way for advancements in national defense and the future of clean energy. But the fact is, it is still early. Eventually, the hope is that this could produce clean, cheap, unlimited energy that could one day power cars, homes, even whole cities. But that is believed to be decades away. It's going to take many more experiments, investments, and eventually the building of infrastructure to make using this technology a reality. Thanks so much, Magda. That's CBC's Magda Gebrselassie in Washington.